Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be talking about equivalent fractions. So you know that fractions are parts of a whole. So if we look here, we have one whole, one out of one piece, one whole. If we look at some of our fractions that we have up here, all of them are parts of one whole. So if we wanted to divide a fraction into two parts, we could write the unit fraction like this, one half. That would mean one half would be one out of two total parts. One is your numerator. It tells you how many equal parts you have. Two is your denominator. It tells you the total amount of parts that the whole is divided into. So for one half, you have one out of two pieces. If we cut our circle into four equal pieces and took out one of those four pieces, then our unit fraction would be one fourth. Today, we're talking about equivalent fractions. So we want to take a piece of the circle that is equal to one half. So if we were to put our one half piece and put it over this portion right here, we could see that it would take one, two of these pieces to be the same equal size, equivalent, equal to a half. So we know that two fourths, two out of the four pieces is what it would take to be equal to a half. Very good, okay? So let's say we have a circle and this one is cut into eight pieces. One, two, three, whoops, four, five, six, seven, Eight. eight equal pieces. And we want to find how many pieces it would take to be the same size as a half. So if we're looking over here at our circle, which we'll push back together a little bit, we can see that we would need one, two, three, four out of those eight pieces to be equal to a half. So let's write our fraction up here where we have four eighths as being equal to one half. All right, so let's take a look at what all of this means. If we know that one half is equal to two fourths. And we know that two fourths is equal to four eighths. So mathematically, we need to look for a relationship here. So to go from two to four, you can multiply by two. And to go from one to two, you can multiply by two. One times two is two, two times two is four. We know that two fourths is equal to four eighths. Two times two is four. Four times two is eight. So we know that if we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number, we're going to get an equivalent fraction. If we wanted to go straight from one half we know that it's equal to 4 eighths. So let's see if our relationship holds true. To go from two to eight, you have to multiply by four. To go from one to four, you have to multiply by four. One times four is four, two times four is eight. We multiplied the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Now I want to show you the same case holds true if we divide. So if we have four eighths, and we're saying that that four eighths is equal to 
two fourths, then we can say four divided by two equals two and eight divided by two equals four. I divided the numerator and denominator by the same number. All right, kiddos, to sum it up, to find an equivalent fraction, you multiply or divide the numerator and the denominator by the same number. If you can remember that, you can always make an equivalent fraction.